What's up, guys? How's it going, everybody? My name is Blitzwinger. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome on back to a brand new part in the gameplay walkthrough for the wonderful LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. On today's episode, we're leaving Tatooine, or at least we were about to leave Tatooine before we got somewhat distracted by what seems like a droid of some sort. Is this the droid I'm looking for? Get back here. Give me that kyber brick. Bro, is this a ghost? What is happening? This is terrifying. Um, okay, that was very, very, very creepy. Um, I guess for now we pursue onto this room. I don't see anything here though. Okay. So we need a plug item for the socket there? I guess huh interesting okay well I guess wouldn't that imply we could pick this up yes we can and then a lock the lock opens and this is awkward because we no longer have a character that can assist us with this so it seems like uh, this chase is going to have to be cut short as we continue back on track. Now, of course, guys, I do want to go on ahead and mention, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button after that, that insanely, insanely creepy segment there. Uh, thank you so very much for your support. Of course, guys, the more support you show to the series, the quicker I will try to get the episodes up for you guys. So again, if you're enjoying the series, hit the thumbs up button. I really, really do appreciate you guys taking the time. And honestly, I don't take it for granted. If you can, hit the thumbs up button. Let me know down in the comment section below what is your favorite Sith character from the Star Wars universe, but you cannot answer Vader. So if Vader is your number one, pick your second best. With all that in mind, let's see what is next as we are now set to leave the planet of Tatooine to see what awaits for us next. Now that we've got Anakin on the crew, to the Senate we go. Uh oh, trouble! That's the wrong weapon. The first attack of Darth Maul. Jar Jar, of course, being an absolute legend, like huge. <laughs> well, that's one way to get out of there. <laughs> Ouch. Okay. A, su a successful escape there. <laughs> it's like you can't see him because of the hood. Oh, I love it. Darth Maul hasn't even spoken once. He's like, okay, you're going to hang up? Yep, there we go. All right, so we need to press this button prompt to bring up the hollow perceptor. And it looks like from Tatooine, we're headed to Coruscant. It's so fascinating that we've already been to three separate planets. We've been to Naboo, that's where things started, worked our way to Tatooine, and then now it's full on steam ahead to, of course, Coruscant itself. We're gonna head to the Federal District. It looks like there are multiple destinations per planet, so the Coruscant space would be up above, but we're just gonna skip the space area altogether and just dive on down to the Federal District in order to meet up with the Senate Council. So that is our location. By the way, this is very cool. During this section, you actually control the ship. Uh, so this kind of reminds me a little bit of LEGO Dimensions, sort of the loading screen for LEGO Dimensions. And here we go. Welcome to Coruscant, the federal district. Dang, Coruscant is bussing with life. Fancy that. A personal welcome from Senator Palpatine himself. Well, how lovely is that? Explain the situation in Naboo. So my he totally looks like someone who is just a kind fella. Day. Master Jedi. Hello. You definitely do not strike me as a troublesome foe or anything like that. I'm sure we have nothing to worry about, right? Dude, holy moly. The minifigure design for Quinn Amidala is just incredible. Look at the details on the hair, everything. Just it insane. It's a great gift to see you alive. Oh, okay. Majesty. With the communications breakdown, we had begun fearing the worst. Oh, don't you worry. I'm anxious to hear about the situation on Naboo. Uh, Your Highness, would you be so kind as to accompany me to the Senate? Uh, of course. The matter there? 
abso freaking lootly let's go. So here we go. To the Senate floor, I suppose. Chancellor has called for a special session of the Senate to discuss the situation on Naboo. Okay. Though, I must be frank. He has little real power, and it is unlikely... Look how beautiful everything Senate looks, guys. This is insane. I believe our best option is for Her Majesty to push for the election of a new Supreme Chancellor. Yo, keep up. control and give us justice. Okay. Fair enough. So, uh, a, a little bit of a sus bit of dialogue there from, uh, uh, Pam, uh, Pamper? I can't ah, speak. From, at this point, I guess he's not Emperor, uh, but from Palpatine. Take us to the Senate building. I have some prior business to attend to, so... Dude, I, I love that taxi ahead. droid there. He looks cool. Once you're ready, come find me in my office. Okay, sounds good. Proceed to the meeting. Fair Thank enough. You. Until then, see you later, bro. Wait, 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 wait. I wanted to... Oh, oh no wonderful. Apps, no drivers? No problem. Fantastic. Don't have to worry about Uber. Here we go. All right. So we have Looks multiple like locations that we can actually visit. We can go to the South Plaza, the Western Fountain, the East Apartment District, the Jedi Temple, the North Landing Pad, Coruscant Senate Building. That's incredible. How many different locations you get to visit within Coruscant itself? So, of course, we are headed to the Senate floor we go. Or, I guess, the Senate building first, before we reach the floor. Okay, so here we go. We have arrived successfully. I love the running animation on this. <laughs> Even though I swear, the bottom of her dress legitimately looks like one of those, like, um, Roomba vacuum cleaners, you know? That's kind of what it reminds me of. Shout out to Roomba. If you want to sponsor the channel, reach out, Roomba. This video is brought to you by vacuum cleaners. That makes perfect sense, right, guys? To the Senate! Ooh, that's a beautiful shot right there. Look at that. Hey, the Wookiees! Utini! Uh-oh. Uh we must do something <laughs> So Darth Maul just disguises himself as a Jawa? Really? That's what you're telling me? And nobody noticed? the Republic. I move for a vote of no confidence in Chancellor Valorum's leadership. Oh, Chancellor Valorum, you've been betrayed. I've decided to go back to Naboo. Please, your majesty, stay here where it's safe. I take Anakin as my Padawan learner. Now is not the time for this. <laughs> Mace Windu, go let's go. to Naboo and unravel the mystery of the Sith. Yo, it's Yoda. That's sick. That was so well done, man. Again, I, I'm just honestly like half the time I'm just like watching all the details. It is just incredible. It's so stunning. Okay. So down we go towards the taxi drive once again after that quick little sequence. And now we shall head back to the north landing pad. And by the way, I'm very impressed by how fast these loading times are. Again, I am playing on an Xbox Series X, so that probably helps how quickly things load. But I'd be really curious to actually try this game on a previous generation console to see if it's a quick load as well, because that was exceptionally quick. Like, literally, it uses pretty much like a transition wipe there for like, I don't even know, what was that? Maybe two seconds? One second? Point being, it's an incredibly well um, optimized game. Ooh, hold up. Does this mean I could call in vehicles here? Yo, that's actually sick. Ooh, very cool. So if we want to, we can go on ahead and actually call in the Naboo Starfighter. But since we are playing as Queen Amidala, I feel like it would be only appropriate to stick with... Ooh, a Trade Feder Federation Vulture would be cool too. But the Royal Starship is our vehicle of choice, of course. I mean, come on. Royalty will not be riding in a Starfighter. That would be absurd. And now we head to Lake Paonga on Naboo. So that will be our next destination. Up, up, and away. Dang, dude. That looks clean. Very, very, very cool to see that. Where are the ships, though? Oh, there they are. They've loaded in. Can I switch to the other ship? No, you cannot. Because we know that obviously Obi-Wan is in the uh, other ship there, right? Along with Qui-Gon, I suppose. 
Hey, there's the hint droid again. He welcomes us here as well. Is <laughs> that Jar Jar? Oh, the running animation on Jar Jar is just wonderful. All right, so here we have Qui-Gon. Oh, hello. This is the loot I'm looking for. Bro, that's amazing. They actually made a reference to <laughs> the fact that Liam Neeson voices Qui-Gon Jinn. And then they just did that Easter egg there. I love that. I, I love that Lego games will not only do Easter eggs to the franchise that they operate on, but a bunch of other pop culture stuff. So obviously, like, you know how in Taken, he would deliver that line. I have a particular set of skills. I will find you and I will kill you. So same thing there, but as Qui-Gon. All right. So let's see what awaits for us next. That's a crazy looking ship. The AA-9 freighter. That looks pretty cool. All right. So it looks like we've got another meeting with Boss Nas. I pray that Boss Nas is still or Nas, my bad. Let's visit Boss Nas. Holy moly! The big I don't know. know how muy of a head pain it is to open? All the switches and all the workings. Me's are getting tired just thinking about it. Well, luckily, thinking is not something that you have to worry about much. Boom! Roasted. Got him. I got him, guys. Boom, roasted him. Now, I suppose... I'm trying to understand where are the switches. Because I see these, like, light bulbs. And they seem to be connected to things up here. So, hold up. I'm curious. Are these switches? No, they're just light bulbs. Huh. Well, that is quite suspicious. I guess that would imply that there must be other switches somewhere else that you must interact with. Again, obviously based also on the fact that that's what we were just told there by that gun gun. Uh, that we need to do climbing and... So, hmm. Interesting. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll keep that in mind. Ooh, what is that red button there? <laughs> I'm like, ooh, red button. Good thing I'm not a president. Okay, let's move on. Here we go. Next, we have another confrontation in the throne room. So let's see how this goes. Hopefully this goes well. Do -do -do, just waddle across. There's nobody here either. Um, have they been captured? This is awkward. Or maybe they fled. Of course, sir. Who can hide it? When in trouble, go to sacred place. Where's the sacred? No find them there. Place. Okay. We follows you. Where is this sacred place you speak of? Find the Gungan's sacred place. Okay. Yeah, it seems like all of them are... Well, not all of them, because obviously this one's still here assigning us a mission. So <laughs> I guess some of them were like, listen, I'm not fleeing. I have important business to handle in terms of handing off missions. Who is this? Many people in droids speak their own language. If you can't understand someone, try using a pro... That's incredible! The details here. That's really, really just stunning. Seriously. Wow. Okay, I mean, good to know. We can't, we can't do that right at this moment. Because again, I'm staying focused on the campaign. Because I know if I start doing extra missions, I'll just be so distracted that we won't actually get any of the main story done. So, I'm sticking with the main campaign for now. And then, of course, when the LBAs happen, whoo, you guys just wait and see. It's going to be nuts. Um, okay, so we need to figure out a way through this. Okay, I'll fix it. Don't worry, I'll fix everything. Like a sow's bows. All right, what have we here? A switch? We make our way through, and a whole new area reveals itself. Dude, this creature is so cool looking. I don't even know what this is called. Yo, if you know what the name of this creature is, let me know in the comment section below. Okay, I must not explore. I must not explore. I want to explore, though, but I must not. Stay on track, but stop being distracted. All right. Really? I am Queen Amidala. No. I am Queen Amidala. I am Queen Amidala. No. 
I am Queen Amidala. Dobra, Queen Kuni Amidala. Ah. Uh, ooh, teeny. I am Queen Amidala. I am. I think I think I'm the gag is over, guys. But it was necessary to protect myself. Boom. If we do not act quickly, all will be lost forever. <gasps> I beg you to help us. Maybe we saw being friends. Hey, may maybe we saw being friends. I think that's a good thing, right? I'm pretty sure. Let's head to the palace. We must launch an attack on their control ship and confront the Viceroy. Let's go. All right. So we're slowly but surely assembling a counteroffensive. Take the speeder and retake the palace. Got it. Okay. That is why we must head to Thede immediately and retake the palace. Man, I am so beyond impressed by how big the hub worlds are. And it's just like layers on layers on layers. It's really stunning. Because just when you think you've already explored everything, then they're like, nope, there's more. And you're like, there's more? Yes, there's more. All right, better call Maul. What a great reference there. Again, another Easter egg there, of course, referring to the Better Call Saul show. So lots of references to different pop culture. Shows, movies, moments. Annie, find cover, quick. Dude, okay, that was incredible. Get to your ships. Let's go, Starfighters. <laughs> How could you say that sentence? He just sent a kid to pilot and a ship. And he's like, yeah, he'll be safe there. What? How? It's a spaceship. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, my goodness. Slow motion, evil pan. Oh, my goodness. Dude, that was actually incredible. Let's freaking go. Let's get ready to rumble. Oh my goodness, look at this battle! Throws the cape off, it's time for war. Qui-Gon versus Maul. Darth Maul, this is our first boss fight, guys. Let's go! Be on guard and remember your training. All right, so obviously, as you can see, a very different camera angle here. I cannot switch into Obi-Wan, so we have to fight this as... Qui-Gon. All right, I'm going to try to close the gap first. Okay, we can use hold B uh, to go on ahead and counter and then toss things right back at Maul. Hold LT to start aiming your lightsaber. Okay. And then aim at the enemy. Press RT. Dodge incoming attacks by moving in any direction with the left stick and then pressing the A button. So we can dash. Okay. And then I could use LT to just block and parry moves. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at that combo I just landed. Button mash, button mash, the Y button. Dude, this is insane. No, I will not lose. I dodged that because I'm just built different. Where do you think you're going? Pursue Darth Maul. Oh, dang it. He's running us right into a trap of a bunch of droids. Dude, that's literally a small army. Oh, my goodness. I got to close the gap here. Okay, I was able to deflect a bunch of shots. Go. Attack. I think we cleared him. Woo. Thank goodness. All right. I'm in pursuit. Get back here, Darth Maul. Oh, no. Dude, he's just constantly running us right into a trap, man. Yeah, okay. This is not good. I need to deflect the lasers first. And then... Go in and deal some damage. Come on. I could throw the lightsaber too. But I am not interested. 
Okay, nice. I got some studs. I just realized I've barely collected any studs. Because I'm just so adamant about trying to catch up to Darth Maul. Dude, look at the environments. They look so beautiful. Everything looks so freaking beautiful. Like, legitimately, this is one of the best-looking games. This is the best-looking LEGO game, no doubt about that. But this is one of the best-looking games I've ever played. Like, it's just so vibrant with color. It's so alive, you know? It's phenomenal, seriously. Can I grab that little bit of HP? I saw something over here. I'm curious as to what this is. Is this a droid? Oh, my bad. <laughs> the poor droid was just trying to clean things up. And I'm out here like, maybe we're the Sith, you know? Maybe we're the, bi the bad guys. We just haven't realized that yet. All right, jump across. Very close call. Hey there, Darth Maul. It's time for round two. Let's get ready to rumble, bro. Oh, no. I have to be able to dodge that. Oh, cool. So when he goes to attack one side, I could switch. And that keeps him on his toes. Because he doesn't know which side to attack. So now we're just going to counter every one of his shots. And lay some damage down. Oh, no. That was awkward. We just had a... A, a, a little bit of a tumble. Fortunately enough, as you can see, there was a bridge underneath, so we would have been fine. Oh my goodness, that is crazy traversal there. But we're still doing pretty well. So far, we've held our own He's in this fight. Come on, we mustn't let him get away. It's fine. I think we're doing okay. We don't really need to be that worried. Look at these jumps. Oh my goodness, this camera angle is wonderful. Oh no. Why did I think I was going to be able to make that jump? Oh my goodness. I need some way to... Oh, those guys are just playing some music. Okay. Fair, fair enough. No need to be concerned about them. But I do need to be concerned about these guys. Force push. Grab the bridge. And then we slice and we dice. And then we, of course, also very classically smash and bash our way through all this junk. Do you guys think I could make that jump, or is this too much of a crazy leap? I mean, it would be kind of crazy if I could actually make this. No! My spuds! Dang it. We lost a bunch of points. That stinks. Uh-oh. Bro, okay, this is not fair. You're literally using a bridge. As a weapon. Oh, okay. So. Like the leaf. My thighs couldn't manage it. Let's find another way to reach Did he just say my thighs could manage it, please? Did he really just say that, guys? Can somebody tell me if that's what he just said? Because why? Why, Qui-Gon? Oh, no. Hold up. I first have to fight these guys. I got a little ahead of myself. I'm out here solving puzzles while I should be fighting. What is aiming at us? We're being aimed at s with something from like far above. There's a laser. Holy, okay. Yo, let's go, Obi-Wan. Activate. Press the button prompt. Okay, we have one. I gotta be careful. Yeah, we can't. As soon as we run out a little bit, it seems like we get uh, targeted there. So we have to be very cautious about that. Is that a blue stud back there? Yo, let's go. A thousand points for free. Fantastic. We got our Kyber Brick, by the way. Got him. Nope. Got him. And last but certainly not least, we win. And that's a victory. Wonderful. All right, so we're going to use the force to lift this other battery cell. Place that into position. We're still being aimed down upon by something from way up above. Is this a... Oh my goodness, it's an elevator. I am so boosted. I just now realized that. Okay, and now it actually makes perfect sense as to what was aiming at us or who was aiming at us. Can I go over here? This is incredible. Seriously, like... 
the fact that you get to explore as much of this as you do is just phenomenal. Like, look at the, just the scale of this area. It is stunning. Sorry, cleaning droid. I think I'm supposed to destroy five of you in order to earn some sort of a reward. Oh, dang it. Okay. Give me some healing. This kind of reminds me of one of the Darth Maul battles in the um, Complete Saga. Or sorry, in the Clone Wars. It was kind of similar where you had to like throw objects at him. I wonder if this is um, almost like a bit of a homage to that. That's really interesting. I really do wonder if that's what they went with here. Because obviously like there will be some overlap of ideas because there's only so much you could come up with. I mean, like I've been playing a lot of Spider-Man games back to back and I realized pretty quickly just how similar a lot of them are just because I've been playing them all back to back. So the same would apply here, I would imagine. Ooh, okay, interesting. We have these button prompts here. The problem is I can't really do anything about them uh, because we would need some gonk droids or something to be able to press all four buttons because we only have two characters on rotation, which means we'd need to bring something else or someone else that could press that. So that's interesting. All right, so I'm going to use this little drawbridge here to, I think, hop down and chase Darth Maul, right? Here we go. Let's hope the Jedi have the ability to stick this landing. Okay, we broke through. Now we slice and dice. Jump out of the way. Combo breaker. Move. Nope. Switch to Qui-Gon. He seems to be a little bit better equipped. No! Button mash. I think we're about to win. He's on the run again. Dang it. Oh. I think I know what I'm supposed to bring over there. The problem is I can't get across anymore. I think I was supposed to bring this. Oh, oh, man. You know those buttons? The four buttons that we found? That's probably what we're supposed to bring is that. Dang it, man. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. We'll get it. We'll get it eventually. Dude, look at the design in this. This looks so cool. Okay, I'm through. This is kind of working out well, but these ones are not... Oh, there we go. Oi, oi, oi. Oi, oi, oi. Okay. Seems simple enough. The yellow one goes where the yellow bit is, and the red one goes where the red bit is. And ta-da! Open, sesame. Get back here! Dang it. How is he so fast? Oh, you know what I should be doing? I sort of kind of have completely forgotten about the fact that I need to be upgrading my characters, huh? Um, can we afford anything? That's the question. We could actually increase our health. We could also increase our sprint. Oh, no, we cannot. That requires 15 Kyber bricks. But I could increase our health. That's kind of... You know what? I think... Oh, why can't I? What's... Oh, do I need to unlock the previous three? I probably do, don't I? Okay, then I guess we'll get fast build. And I guess we'll get counter... Oh, we can't afford counter cash. So we'll need to save up in order to unlock counter cash. And then we'll be golden. Okay. It's so fascinating to see uh, Obi-Wan be like the impatient one and the one that is like... You know, still a Padawan and still learning and Qui-Gon guiding him through everything. Versus, like, obviously to a certain extent we're used to uh, seeing um, him be... Wait, why is this not working? I wonder if this means that I need to place this over here. Could that be it? Um, okay. Yes. I think I got it. Ta-da! I have solved the puzzle. There we go. So just cool to see how even Obi-Wan, you know, we when we're introduced to him in the story, he's so wise and he's so like 
Um, obviously, like, a, a very admired character in the Star Wars universe. I'm going to dash out of the way there. And dash out of the way of that, too. Because I'm just too fast. Okay. I landed a good counter. We're earning a lot of freaking points from this. This is awesome. Okay, I should be able to land a couple of attacks. Whoa. Okay, that's one heck of a combo wombo that he goes for. No! Bro, Qui-Gon! Oh, okay. I got it. He's down! Victory! Yes! Oh, nice. They got a little fist bump. No! Quagon! <laughs> that little kick from Obi Wan, that was wonderful. Obi Wan, promise. Promise me you will train the boy. Yes, Master. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, that's just nightmare fuel. 1 nil. Good goal, dude. Who knew Obi-Wan just dropping buckets like Steph Curry out here, bro? Your little insurrection is at an end, your highness. Are you sure, Newt? Your occupation here has ended after This one's a decoy. He should be uh, thankful for that helmet, dude. We'll discuss a new treaty. Anakin, don't. We gotta don't. Do something, R2. Oh, no. Why? Oh, why? Why, Anakin? Oh, you maniac. Uh, he's on automatic pilot. Why couldn't he get his own shit? <laughs> I do feel bad for the Naboo pilot. Uh-oh. It's Boss Nass and his uh, Gungun warriors. They have come up from the deep depths of the ocean. Spoken like a true warrior. <laughs> we saw warriors. Must be making a way to the battlefield. To the battlefield we go. Better call Maul, though. Mission completed. Of course, that will now grant us free play unlocked, which is wonderful because now I'll be able to 100% complete that level. So that's definitely quite exciting. We did not get True Jedi just because, again, staying focused on the story, not really worried about getting the studs and all the collectibles. I'll be doing that in the 100% walkthrough, which you can stay tuned for. Let's see how we did on our level challenges. It looks like we actually missed out on all. Holy moly, that's the first time that that's happened. And I don't believe we got any mini kits either. So we're good there. Let's see if we get any new characters or ships unlocked. We do. We actually get Obi-Wan Kenobi in episode one with no cape, as well as Qui-Gon Jinn. Qui-Gon gone. Uh, Darth Maul with no cape. Darth Maul with the hood and the cape, I would assume. Then we get the Droidica. Interesting. So lots of new characters. That's pretty neat. And so now, it seems like, uh, next up, it is time to prepare for battle. And we will do so on the next episode of LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, turn on your notification. Special shout-outs to the members of the channel. Thank you guys so very much for supporting the channel by becoming members. You can do so by pressing the join button down below. And of course, guys, thanks all for watching. Peace out. See you later. Alligators.